What up boys, I'm back with another YouTube video. Today I will do something different and uh hope you enjoy it because I think that's very uh, crucial to understand that uh every hour has 60 candles and you don't have to be able to predict every single candle and uh, you just need five uh, trades per day to be profitable to make money and uh, escape the matrix okay so let's get it started today um you know i i take some pictures of uh about 40 30 or even 50 candles and we will go candle by candle to see which trades we would take i personally would take and which trades we shouldn't take okay so let's say we had a trend like this before some like this and now we see an engulfing pattern right here okay so what would we do here so basically engulfing patterns okay there's uh it's not an engulfing okay let me see okay let's say this is an engulfing pattern okay so there's so many possibilities after uh this engulfing pattern okay and in there's uh, i mean it depends on so many uh factors that what the next candle is going to be uh, because there's a possibility of next candle being a uh, green candle. There's a possibility of next candle being a red candle as a retracement. Okay, I'm going to just uh, draw all the possibilities. Let me just, you know. Okay, let's say we have an engulfing pattern like this. And what are the possibilities after this candle, okay? So it depends on so many things i'm just going to draw all the possibilities so the first thing first there might be another green candle okay which so many people expecting uh, i'm sorry expecting this one okay so the next possibility is which um so many times you've seen uh, when i live trade i usually wait for the next candle because that there might be a retracement candle, okay? So this is the next possibility. Again, we have an engulfing pattern, okay? Hold on me. Okay, so the next possibility is this being a doji candle, okay? Doji. Let me just draw this with the blue one so you can see better, I guess, okay? So this is a doji and uh, the next possibility for engulfing patterns in every single pattern it's just not guys remember it's not about engulfing all the time there's so many patterns and you know you don't have to like take uh, when you see the pattern there's so many factors that um you know uh makes that makes the next candle being a green or red one okay so you don't have to take trade immediately so after engulfing you might even have it huge candle like this okay so um let me see uh is there any upper any other possibility yeah you might even have let's say you have engulfing you might even have a nice let me see one of these okay if we will talk about all, all of that Okay, so these are a couple of possibilities um, that might happen after engulfing. And you have to, uh, you know, what I, I always do, I wait for the next candle, okay? So I basically wait for the next candle to see what is going on. And I will say what to do after the next candle. So here we don't take any trades, okay? Okay, so let me just... Okay, so we have a big candle here okay like i said it's one of the possibilities okay so here again we create another pattern okay i don't know how many of you know this pattern this is a this is another pattern which is called uh three bar up okay again this pattern has uh, so many possibilities okay we might have a retracement we, we might just keep going on and you know if we keep going on what will it what will be this one this is um 
three white soldiers i guess yeah this is another pattern so we are just you know creating different patterns continuously then when we gonna enter okay this is the question so usually if we have a pattern and the next candle is a nice little weak retracement then after that we can enter okay so i wouldn't enter here again okay so it is not a retracement okay so when you see this this is buyers i mean this is strong sellers okay it's not a retracement so we have to just wait to see uh again this is in, uh, bearish engulfing okay uh, as i said engulfings have so many possibilities so we have to just wait here to see uh what is the next candle okay now i'm just going to change uh, i mean oh i'm sorry okay so the next candle how do you read this one this is uh pretty much hammer it's not a hammer but it has the buyer's pressure with no rejection from upside okay so it means that buyers on are on this level if you look closer this is a level with round number on it okay so this is basically a level and based of week to week uh, theory you can enter and go with buyers after this candle okay because uh, there's a uh, strong demand okay this little shadow you see and this one if you are a forex trader you already know what i'm talking about these kind of situations i'm gonna just try it These kind of situations, when we, when we are trading Forex, I also do Forex. Uh, when I trade Forex, and if you, like, for example, when you see this pattern in 4-hour time frame, okay? In 4-hour four, four time frame, um, if you just lower the time frame, you, there are going to be nice demand zones like this, okay? Let me just, uh, you know, there's going to be, if you, if you lower the time frame, there's going to be nice demand zones, okay? This is a nice demand zone which leads the price to go up okay so this basically in binary they they call it uh wow okay they call it wow the reason why they call this wow is weak again weak so it's different uh, i mean it's between the um different weeks okay so it's weak over weak it's week over week okay so this is a nice level it also is one of the levels that you can count on okay so basically it's got uh, rejected from this level and count this level plus we had a uh, round number here okay this is a round number so uh, you can easily go with buyers for the next candle oh okay so here we would go with buyers for the next candle and also we have gap to this level whenever you see uh, a pressure from one level and close uh, close to uh, the next level with no rejection basically um, these kind of candles okay there's a bit uh, long rejection but you know typically it's, it should be smaller you can go with buyers and this is a pretty much short shot okay so i'm gonna just go with buyers okay this is gonna be my first trade or our first trade okay so this is our first trade i'm gonna go with a something like this here okay so after this what you see here is rejection from the upper level so as you probably know um whenever the candle co uh, changes color Okay, whenever the candle changes color, it creates a potential level. Okay, so there's a reason that this candle changed color. Okay, that's because this is a level. And if this candle is very strong, it means that there's strong buyers with reverse with this candle. So this candle is way more stronger than the previous one, right? So this is a pretty good level. You have to consider this as a level and also you can't even confirm this 
when you look back on this chart, okay? We don't have the back right now, but this is pretty much a level. So for the next candle, we have so many reasons to go with sellers. Why? Because we see rejection from level. We see uh, buyers activity here. And also there's a nice strategy, which we call this, you see in a couple of my live trades. This is a huge candle, right? Huge candle strategy. When you see a huge candle like this, it creates you a range, okay? It creates you a range. And when you see a uh, price goes up like this and then comes down, okay, uh, the scenario here is bearish. So I'm just uh, go with a bearish example so you can understand even better, okay? So let's see, we have a large bearish candle here, here, okay? This basically creates a range for us. And we will wait for the next two candles. If the two can next two candles are in this range, okay, and are same colors, doesn't matter if it has a rejection or not, we can go with the direction of the bigger candle for the third one so we have the uh this is candle candle number one this is candle number two we take the candle number three okay so whenever you see these kind of things it's it shows that we have a seller's momentum here this is momentum of sellers which you know it's pretty strong and then you see uh buyers which has lower momentum you see two candles here the way that uh a bearish candle came uh with one candle they are coming from two candles plus this is as i told you earlier this is a strong level okay so we combine the reasons and then we go with our trade okay so here we can go with sellers right based on the scenario just uh, i just said and also so we had the large candle strategy here we have a level and previously we had a downtrend I, I said at the beginning of the video right so we have three reasons to go with buyers but there's no reason to go with sellers i mean uh, i'm sorry there's three reasons to go with sellers and there's no reason to go with buyers so for sure it's one of the other trades that i am 100 percent sure that i would take this trade okay this is a red one as i said we go with sellers so i'm gonna just on this so we can understand that how many trades that we took yet um okay so for the next one what would you do what would you do for the next one and for the next candle as i said before there's a level right this candle closed under this level and you see buyers pressure from this side so we don't see any any setup here so we have to just wait. We have to just wait because we have reason to go with buyers here because it closed on this moving average. As you all know, moving average is also good source of uh, you, you know you cannot probably um, uh, trust on the moving averages when you combine uh, the reasons. And here we have a um, reason to go with buyers. Okay, we have support on moving average, and also we have a strong level right here, which couldn't pass. Okay, so it's basically a 50 50 um, trade here because we also we have a strong level on our way, and also we have buyers pressure from the downside. And uh, yeah, we don't know really it's gonna be buyers or it's gonna be sellers. Okay, so we would wait here. Okay, we have sellers entry. But a gap there's a gap okay and here also we don't see any um setup here so we would probably wait here because um i would say uh we we can basically take a trade because we have a level here and there's a gap there's a little okay i'm, I'm gonna go with sellers here just for the sake of it because we have a rejection from the upside and uh, we don't see any rejection from the downside and there's a gap between this level. Okay, so a market actually uh, Tend to fill the gap. So I basically um, The trend is also with us so I can probably go with sellers. Let's go with the sellers for this one Yes, okay, so it filled the gap 
as I said, gaps should be filled. And this is the uh, next trade that we took. And uh, okay, if you look at uh, this moment here, you see we had two levels, okay? One of them is this one, and one of them is this one. And this candle, it's a weak seller's candle, which closed on this level, which is combined with a round number. You see the round number? You see this line? This indicates it's a round number. All these lines are round numbers, okay? So this level is pretty strong. And the candle closed on this level, right? So after this one, we can go with buyers for sure. And this is one, uh, other, one of the other uh, strategies that I really use, closing on strong levels. It's the easiest thing ever, okay? So I go with buyers here. Let's go. Yes, okay. So what you see here, you see a morning star, right? Uh, I'm sure you know the morning star. Let me just draw it. Okay. Okay, this is a morning star. Um, we have different variety of morning star. We have a morning star that didn't break this. We have a morning star which uh, this candle is a basically a hammer. We have morning star. This candle is a doji. We have morning star. This candle is an inverted hammer. It has different rules, different uh, you know details. But I'm not gonna really go deep into it because it's gonna consume uh, so many so much time. But I'm just gonna say that this is a morning star, right? And after morning star, we have again we have so many possibilities. We can have a retracement. We can have a um. I don't know. We can we can continue. We can do uh you know the things that i said about the engulfing so i'm just gonna probably wait for this one because we don't really know if it's gonna be a retracement or it's gonna just continue okay um and also we touched this level so sellers might enter might enter or because this buyer is uh, really strong again buyers can enter but as long as this level is here we have to count it okay so this is basically a strong level okay and it's, it has some certain rules that i will tell you okay so let's go with the next candle okay this is buyer's entry again so if you look at this candle sellers push the price to the downside then buyers again entered and pushed the price to the upside and barely could uh create a higher high and didn't break even uh, the previous candle okay didn't break it didn't close on this one so uh, here we have a strong level which is broken with less than 50 percent of the candle okay so the rule here when you have a strong level this level is proved proved that it's strong okay we, are, we already talked about it which is a strong level so when you have a strong level like this there's gonna be some factors okay the factors are how many times price hit this level okay one time two time or three times okay and how this level is broken basically the levels that are uh, got hit third time are you know the third time the scandals trying to break this level is um you know stronger than the th second time or first time i mean i mean uh it, it can reverse okay so basically when a, a strong level breaks you can count on taking a reverse trade okay it means that it's a fake breakout and one of the other um signs of fake breakout let's say we have a level okay and uh, what do you count the breakouts uh is this a breakout or is this a breakout or is this a breakout which one of them is a breakout this is more likely to be a true breakout this is not a breakout and also this is 50-50, okay? So if this is the third time this level is 
hitting like this and candle closing less than 50 percent okay if you look at this this is more than 50 percent okay the 50 percent of candle here so more than 50 percent of this candle is uh, cross this level so it's basically have a chance to be a true breakout but this one is, is less than 50 percent so uh it's more likely to be a fake breakout especially if it's the third time this candle touching this level okay so there um in our scenario it's basically third time this candle crosses this level so this is the first time second time and third time and this candle break this level with less than 50 percent okay so 50 percent is somewhere like somewhere here down there and this is less than it's like fucking 35 percent of this candle closing plus we have a previously downtrend it didn't break the previous candle okay so it means that it's gonna play in this range so we can easily take a fake breakout trade here and go with sellers okay so for this candle you can go with sellers okay just like this okay so this is another trade that we would take so um for now we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten candles and four trades this means that we escape six candles okay what do you understand from this you don't have to take every single candle okay you don't you just have to wait for your setup what you understand from the market and then take the trade okay so for now you see this candle which is a uh, you know it's it's basically coming back to the range but um as i told you before we have a week over week candle here okay i told you this is a week over week and this is pretty strong level but for this one we have very strong wicks okay and didn't break this week even okay so these long wicks increases the range so this candle closed on this level so it's basically 50 50 so we can have a green candle and also we have it we can have a red candle okay because these weeks are strong and we cannot use the week over week strategy so we will wait here okay okay we have buyers pushed to the upside and we had a fake breakout before and we know that the price is trying to kind of break this uh level and as you look closer this is basically little slightly more than 50 percent of this candle with a higher high and little rejection which is not called rejection it's it's basically buyers confidence okay when you see price going up then buyers enter this is called rejection okay you see from candles move and whenever you see buyers are going up and they push price up like this okay they push price up up like this they they it means that they are confident okay so we call this little rejections confidence buyers confidence so this is a buyers confidence we don't call it uh, sellers activity so we we will think that this might be a real breakout and we can go with buyers here okay so i probably go with buyers here i'm for i mean not probably for sure i can go with buyers right now let's go yeah you see strong buyers here so this even confirms that the this breakout is real than everything and this buyers aggressive entry and this is the fifth trade that we would take um it's been it's been 24 minutes okay it's already long video so i'm not gonna just continue with this uh we might have to break uh you know break this uh series to some different parts if you like and uh we have to end this video right here because it's going like it's being uh, it's going too long and uh, i'm just gonna uh, try to tell you that when you're trying to trade uh you know binary option you, you gotta you, you have so many options you have so many opportunities like look at here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve we have 12 candles it means 12 opportunities and we took five winning trades okay 
We have 12 opportunities and 5 winning trades and that's all we need, okay? 5 winning trades in 12 minutes, okay? If you put, uh, I don't know, $100 for each of them, it's almost um, 40 480 or 400, 465 something like this in 12 minutes okay which job can pay you that no jobs okay i i i, I see people uh work eight hours a day and they get this amount of money in one month okay it's it, it's like life-changing knowledge that i'm just uh giving you um yeah just use it bro just practice in demo account and you know sit on your uh, sit behind your monitor and like watch a single uh, currency pair and uh, that's interesting because this is otc so many people just say that otc is bullshit otc is uh this and that you don't trust in otc bro the charts are charts i'm not saying that otc is always um uh obey the uh, market rules but you know it's basically the same right it's basically the same and uh, you don't have to really limit yourself uh, to looking at OTC I would say that uh, take lower risk on OTC but this is still the chart and this is still uh, you know making sense right so um, yeah that's it for today's video hope you liked it if you really like uh, drop a like for me and hit the subscribe button so I can um, Continue this series uh, because there's so many candles left and let's see how many wins or how many and how many losses we will take in this uh, 40 or 50 candles. This is only 12 of them, okay? So thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. Um, uh, peace.